and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over the easiest way from the consensus that I picked up on how to beat house rules, the point yoink, the new one that gets you the free 90 to 91 overall Mutt Heroes Nat Card Fantasy Pack. So I've been playing this for quite a while now this morning. I'm playing for like two, three hours straight. Guys, to be honest with you, it's not as easy as I thought it would initially be. It came off as a lot easier when you first read about it, but the point scoring system combined with glitches and combined with the way people play, it's kind of becoming irritating to play as a house rules. So if you guys look at the point scoring here, the point system says things that aren't entirely true. So it says take one point on 10 yard passes, take three points on interceptions or fumbles, give one on rush and complete passes. So on an incomplete pass, right, give one, that means that you get one and they lose one. Let's just say but what i've realized which is weird is that an incomplete pass that you like just drop after being hit is you yeah you lose a point but a few times when i've been playing i've seen an incomplete pass go like an incomplete pass air mail out of bounds and i've lost like two or three points and they've gained like two or two or three so i find it weird they didn't include that in the score i don't know if it's like just a glitch that that happens but trust me if you make a really bad pass it goes out of bounds you gain quite a few points and to make it even worse it's not that you just get a point like you also lose a point simultaneously so if you get if you force the interception they lose three points or you gain three points so it's really like a touchdown it's like six points if you really think about it another thing that i found from this is that the way you want to play this is not anywhere near what we thought it would be played like when we first started i'll go over the meta and go over all my tips advice and tricks that i've come across within the last few hours of playing shortly after we do our little intro boys so if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell we are so close to 10k we're at 9.6k subscribers i'm super hyped we're a little under 400 subscribers away from 10k we're so close boys let's make it a reality everyone watching this video go hit that subscribe button boys let's really just push me over the top and get to 10k and keep growing the family and if you guys haven't already comment down below what you guys have been personally doing to beat this house rules because i'd like all your advice down below and feedback to help me finish this too because i still gotta get through this i'm pretty sure i got a pretty good meta and idea of how to play this but i want to see what you guys got what your opinions are on this and if you haven't already hit that hit that like button boys make sure to get this video to 200 likes that'd be greatly appreciated if you're a fan of the channel make sure to hit that like button now boys so what has come across to me is that you don't want to really play offense in this so it's weird right you think that you'd want to play offense but you have to realize like if you look at how typical drives go right most people run this year you can't run so that takes away the whole running part of the game and if you know if you know anything about football or madden when people sit in very pass heavy coverages it's kind of hard to throw the ball which is when you run the ball but since you can't really run the ball because not you don't just lose a point they also gain a point so it's kind of like a two point differential every time you run the ball which makes it really frustrating because people are sitting in like quarters with like th two guys in the line taking off the third guy into a into like sit up defense where they just the line and stand up right away and play in like a qb spy and there's really nothing you can do because the lane's open for the quarterback to run but if you run you lose points if you rush regularly and you pancake the line you lose points so you kind of have to pass but it's become increasingly difficult to find passes unless you're like a competitive player you're just like tom brady and you're a guru at passing short it's become increasingly hard to just consistently pass and even if you can consistently pass right so for me i'll be like i'll convert a 10 yard pass that's an extra point so i gain a point all good next time they come out in quarters with two guys in the line i throw a ball i get hit right away because there's so many guys in the field that it's hard even if you throw into a window they're going to most likely get contact right after. Now, this Madden contact after a catch typically results in a lot of drop passes. So, then I drop the pass and I lose the point right away. And the next play, I go to throw the ball. I get sacked mid throw. I lose a point because I throw the ball. A lot of things are happening that you really, it really just decreases the usability of the pass offense. So, what I've come across as the meta is you only play defense. So, pretty much you come out on defense, right? You force one incompletion, maybe, maybe, let's say we get two incompletions and a third and out. So, now you're up by like four points. Then, right when they come out on offense, like, what I'll do, I'll try attempting one pass. And by the way, you don't want to throw away the ball. You want to take sacks. You want to be taking sacks right now. So, when you come back out on offense, what I do is, typically, I feel out the defense. I come out in a pass formation. If I don't see anyone wide, naked, open, I just take the sack, and then I punt the ball. Because if you want to, sometimes, like, I'll get an interception, right? I'll get, I'll go up six points. I'll come back out on offense. I'll throw two incomplete passes, one out of bounds. I lose, like, four points from that. And then I punt the ball back. Now they're only down by two and they come down and score on me. So now I ended up I ended up being down when I should have really been up, which is just very frustrating. Like I've been up by like 
15 and then I do I make like two or three incomplete passes or an interception before you know it they're back up on me so kind of like the offense right now is playing defense because you can score so heavily on defense because you have to understand when you play a typical standard drive let's say you'll probably complete like six or seven passes on a regular drive a five to six passes on a regular drive with like two or three incompletions let's just say so you complete those passes. If none of them are for 10 yards, you get nothing. But those three incompletions are literally like six points lost because the other team gains three points and you lose three points. So it kind of becomes highly frustrating, the differential that you can really create by actually trying to play your offense. So I'd recommend, like I said, playing just straight defense. Unless you're, if you're playing someone with a really bad team that doesn't even compete with yours, that like you can just easily burn them all day, play your offense. But when you versus a really good, good competitive player or just a really good team in general, you kind of want to just play defense. So what I've been doing for the most part, like I said, I'll get the ball back. I'll feel out the, I'll feel out the defense. If I feel like I can't get just some easy completions on them, I'll take a few drags, try to take them for 10, but then I end up fumbling when I get hit. So then I just lose another three points. It can become very frustrating. You cause like, think about it this way. You could drive a whole drive of 10 yard passes, a whole drive, 10 yard passes. Let's say you get like four points off 10 yard passes. Then at the end of it, you do all, you, you fumble or throw an interception. They're back at it with you. They're tied. They're almost tied again. It's like you never play that. Then on, then they come out on offense and they score on you. Now you're down. No matter how good you play on offense, one little coin flip of a decision or anything could literally reduce all the hard work you put on offense. So pretty much what people have been doing is like, so this is my final like tip of advice that I can really give you is take your field goals. Make sure you're taking your field goals because what I've been doing is I'll go down. Like I said, I'll feel the offense out. I'll complete two easy 10 yard passes. I'll take my four points, my four point differential. I'll take my field goal. Now I'm up by seven. Then they come out on defense, you gotta force like one or two incompletions, they'll quit. If you don't take that field goal and you try to be risky, I think about it. If you try to be risky, being risky could result in the floor, the score completely flipping. Or if you get like three, two to three 10 yard passes and you complete, you get like a four to six point differential, and then you take your field goal, you kind of have a, a super touchdown. You scored almost a six to nine point differential just in that drive by taking your field goal. The field goal kind of caps off a super touchdown, in my opinion. That's kind of how I'll go about this. And at first, I didn't think this was smart, but literally everyone I'm playing, they get the ball on first down, they punt it right back to me. Because it's it's easier to make mistakes on defense than it is to not make mistakes on offense right now. Because mistakes on offense, like interceptions and fumbles, you can avoid to an extent, but incomplete passes, you can't. Players drop balls. Your quarterback airmails balls. Vic and Lamar makes bad throws. Literally, a bad throw is, is a two-point differential for you. Getting hit or under pressure right as you're about to throw the ball, two-point differential. And sometimes when it goes out of bounds, I lose like three points, which I didn't even know that was part of the scoring. But guys, that is my best advice I can really give you. I do not think playing offense is the move this week. I really do think this is the week of the defense. And again, you know what really sucks? I'm able to blitz all day. Because people are in pass-heavy formations, I'm able to blitz all day. and get I can get four straight sacks. But you know what sucks? Four straight sacks is no points. And I don't want to be on offense. So like I could sack them easily. So the, the one you want to be sacking them easily is if you take a dominating lead and then you can start blitzing them heavy. But literally, it's kind of frustrating how I can go force. Like, I'm not even excited about it. Like in a regular game, like weekend league, I'll be ecstatic about all the sacks. I mean, I'm getting like six, seven, eight sacks in one quarter. But the issue is there's no points to gain from that. They punt it off to me. And then I, I actually lose on sacks. So I sack them four times, I get the ball back. And then I come out on offense and literally I get two incomplete passes. So I got eight combined sacks, a four and out, and two incomplete passes, and somehow I'm losing. I'm losing by four points. Guys, I am not a fan of this house rules at all. I think it's one of the more dumb house rules I've given us. And I think people can kind of agree on that. It's 35 total wins, which is absurd. I played for like two hours and only got like 10 wins. It's an absurd amount of wins. I do not enjoy the fact how you have to play this week. You really can't even play offense. So it's kind of all luck on how many quarterbacks can overthrow. the defense. Even if you're in a really good defense, just take the sack. You can't literally lose points. If you just keep taking sacks and taking your field goals, you can play almost a perfect game, but it's just not fun. It's not enjoyable. So if it's, not, if it's not gonna be an enjoyable house rules, I at least make it 10 to 15 wins, maybe 20. But 35 wins of unenjoyable house rules, I really can't advocate for that, guys. And again, and there was a glitch. There was literally a glitch going on if you guys know earlier yesterday and this morning that people were doing against me which makes it even more annoying that i literally can't win and i don't advocate to do the glitch because i don't know how strict the a is with throwing with like tossing on a suspension or a band hammer if they get video clips of you doing it with your gamer tag but pretty much what you did was you took your linebacker just like last week or two weeks ago you took your linebacker or any defensive player you put him in front of the in front of the quarterback and when they snapped the ball it hit your player you get a flag for being off sides but when the ball hit the ground, you gained the three point, uh, three points, and they lost three points. So you gained a six point differential off the fumble, and you could do it like three times on one drive without getting kicked. So people were doing it to me, getting like six to nine points plus the differential. It was literally ridiculous, and I was getting so frustrated because you can't play against that. And then what you could do is you can come out in uh, under center and do standard passing. But the issue with that is then if people blitz, by the time you even make your three step drop, you're already sacked. It was just all, it was, it was horrible this morning. It really made it difficult to really start getting my wins up. I probably won't have this done until about tomorrow because I've been a little busy. 
you guys know with all the stuff i have to do school videos and stuff so i've not exactly the amount of time to play it and 35 wins is absurd guys but that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy i hope all the advice i gave you guys and all the little pointers i did really did help you guys tackle this house rules and can make it a little bit simpler for you trust me i came out there guns and blazing thinking i was gonna ro rock people with my offense and i did i'd score six points with 10 yard passes on one drive and then right at the end, I'd either fumble, throw a pick, or I'd throw two incomplete passes in the red zone. And before you know it, we're back to even. So all that hard work goes for nothing, guys. But that is about it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's get to 10K as quickly as possible. We're so close to being there. I'll be so hyped when we do. Make sure to comment down below what you personally are doing to tackle these house rules and what your best advice is. And if you haven't already, turn on that noted bell and make sure to drop a big fat like on the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.